Sunlight is the driver of any garden, particularly if you want it to be productive. So understanding where it falls or doesn't is key to success. The further south you go in Australia, the greater the difference between the winter and summer sun angles. For example, here in Perth, in my garden, the sun in winter travels across from east to west in a shallow arc at a low angle in the sky. When in summer, it travels from east to west in a much broader, wider angle, and it's right overhead. And so that means the shading and sun around the garden changes throughout the year. Now in response, what I've done is planted deciduous trees and vines along the northern side of the property to give me shade for the house and over the outdoor living and play areas during summer, but they lose their leaves in winter so the low angled winter light pours into the garden and to the inside of the home. What I've also done is then choose really hardy shrubs and planted those along the northern boundary line because they're in deep shade in winter, but in summer, again, when the sun's overhead, they get full sun. I've also included small deciduous fruit trees here. They need summer sun, but in winter, they're dormant, so don't mind that shade. Veggies need full sun year round, so they're in their own dedicated area that's completely unobstructed, along with shade loving flowers and herbs. So if you want to have maximum success in your garden, take the time to observe and map out where sun moves through your garden throughout the year as a surefire way to success.